and welcome to Covent Garden, right? I love Covent Garden, it's a really buzzy, fun area of London and um, I always like going to a brasserie. I've got a group of people here tonight, we've been talking about business and in a brasserie you can always be sure that there's something on the menu for everybody. That for me is the appeal. Um, there's a great brasserie near here, which is Brasserie ZL. We tried that recently, it was absolutely superb, but I wanted to come here too. And also, just note, just down from here, is, uh, from Brasserie Max, is a, a, a Lido, a fantastic outdoor swimming pool that hardly anybody knows about, heated all year round in Endell Street. So I definitely check, recommend checking that out, going for a swim and then coming here for some dinner. Anyway, um, they've got a, a nice bar here down the other end. It's a, it, it's a classy hotel. There's a nice entrance. There's quite a good menu. I wasn't mad about everything. There weren't a million selections that I would have gone for in the menu. It was quite good. For the starter, I had a lobster cocktail, which was good. We did order some squid to sh share, which wasn't really all that. Um, um, it really was a bit of bit portions police. You could hardly see the squid. It was far too small. Then for the main, I've gone for the Dover sole, which was good. It was good. It was good. It should have been. It was 38 quid. Uh, French fries, which were quite good. Um, and then for the dessert, uh, one thing I would say, I'm going to neg this place. Um, there is sort of thumping nightclub music the whole time. Not really what I go for in a restaurant. But let's try this. This is the Summerberry um, Sunday. Not bad. That's quite good. That that would be that would be the best course I've had so far, and it's quite good. So um, for uh, Brasserie Max, I'm going to give it a swanky, classy, good fun, quite good menu. Wouldn't quite recommend it. I might just about return six out of ten.